This week marks the end of the school year across much of Minnesota. For many, summer will be a welcome break from the balancing act the pandemic caused at home. WCCO has been documenting the distance learning journey of two Twin Cities families since September. Liz Collins shares the setbacks and sacrifices made. <laughs> we caught a brief glimpse of life as kids again on a Bloomington playground as this brother and sister finish out an unprecedented school year. I had to expect a lot out of them, and I'm at work. As a single mom, Shalisa Everson couldn't risk a drawn out quarantine away from the salon with kids at separate schools. So it's like, if I don't go to work, I don't make any money. So I just kept them home. With the help of their grandparents and dedicated teachers, Avery and Taj did their best to keep up with distance learning. There's good days where he's like really upbeat, and then there's days where it's almost like just depression. Everson noticed the biggest behavioral changes in her 12 year old, who she says she'd catch spending the day in his PJs or too much time playing video games and not turning in homework. I want to go back like badly. It's why Taj didn't hesitate when we asked him about his hopes for next year. I felt like I was an adult. So you're ready to kind of be a kid again, huh? Yeah. On a baseball field in White Bear Lake, the Wongs are just getting back to some sense of normal. Watching their second grader, Matthew, from the sidelines after a long school year also spent at home. I think the last time we talked, we were having issues with Alyssa now mm -hmm. being stuck in the house so long that she didn't want to leave anymore. Alyssa's rare genetic disorder means any kind of sickness can lead to life threatening seizures. The vaccine was critical for a family like ours because. It offers Alyssa that extra protection. Zoa walked away from her career this past fall to be able to care for her three kids this year. Where's Alyssa's story? And while they admit Alyssa's anxiety is getting better, they're hoping summer school will help get her back on track in the classroom. We're excited about that, but nervous. It's like first day of school. The Wongs will also keep up with noticeable safeguards to keep their daughter and sister safe. He doesn't want to take the risk of exposing himself to anything, so he keeps the mask nearby when he's in a group setting. As the summer season marks the start of a new playbook for all parents. In White Bear Lake, Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. The Wong family also told Liz that they've noticed their boys have slipped a bit academically this year, too, but they think they'll be able to make up for it next year.